Hi everybody, uh, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome. So today we are going to be working on uh, the Bustling Bees uh, journal. I think we're going to be doing two pages. So we are still on the signature here, uh, which is the first signature. And we are going to be working on, <clears throat> excuse me, this page and we're going to do something over here as well. So let's get started on this one here. <coughs> now on this one here if you look there's already something on this side so on this side i don't want to add much weight on much bulk so i'm going to start off with something uh very simple <coughs> excuse me have no idea why as soon as i you know come down here I sit down i should say to record oh i see no wonder I'm trying to figure out what happened over there that uh, i start uh, having all these little cough attacks so i'm trying to get a nice piece out but every time i try to get a nice piece out this paper is so full flimsy <clears throat> that um not getting anything nice so let's try this one here let's try adding that there like that and then maybe a piece of this here and just for the different colors there maybe let's bring it down a little like that <clears throat> And then maybe let's just add this random piece over here as well. Okay, something like that. All right. Okay, are these even in the right direction? No. <laughs> yes. Yes. They do go like that. Okay, so what we're going to do quickly is we're going to ink it, uh, not really, but just enough. And while I'm doing this, <clears throat> I just want to, you know, thank all of my viewers and my subscribers and all those that comment uh, down below on the videos. I just want to thank you for that. Uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, thank you for all your uh suggestions as well um i just want to say that um on uh, on my facebook group i am running a competition at the moment my facebook group is called sunny creates junk journals and i will leave a link down below as well <clears throat> and the, the competition that i'm running is there's um there's a digital kit of your choice up for grabs if you just uh, you know start posting your creations for the month of may on the facebook group <clears throat> and it doesn't really matter how many you post um because um there are some of us that can or you know some that can post every day uh because they work on their journal on a daily basis and then there's some people that might not be able to work on their journal on a daily basis because of some sort of commitment or the other. So we don't want to um, um, prejudice them in any way possible. And so that's why I say, feel free to post as many times as you want in the month of May, uh, your creations and um, you will be entered into the draw. And I think we will be doing the draw I think uh, I put first or second of June. I can't remember um, where we will be do do doing the draw for the um, the journal, um, the digital kit, and you can go in and you can um, from my Etsy store. You can choose the kit from me, and then you can get in touch with me, and then I will send the kit through to you. 
because Etsy doesn't allow for a hundred percent discount uh, if you're buying it you know from the store itself but I can always send the kit through to you now what I forgot to do but maybe it wasn't such a bad idea is that I forgot to add some stenciling over here but it's cool because now that just gets incorporated into it yeah so <clears throat> that worked out for uh, to our advantage and I don't, I, I don't know if you remember me saying that I love the darker and the lighter colors and that is why I don't brush my uh, brush off anyway before I put it on I just like the dark and light colors there <clears throat> so that's it what we did there and that was walnut stain by the way just in case you're wondering what color it was uh, maybe I just need to add some here And let's add these pieces to it yes so i hope you were doing well and then i hope you are busy crafting and i hope the weather is treating you fine over here in south africa i must say i am feeling a bit of the chills now so it's getting to the point where there's some chill in the air as you can see I am wearing my tracksuit, so you're probably going to see this tracksuit quite often in the winter months to come. Like that. And then what I'm going to add to it is I'm going to add this flower and it's one of Tim Holtz's flowers. Oh my greatness. Now that I think about it, I am sure someone asked me a comment on Facebook or on a video about some dyes. And I think I completely forgot to, 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 um, to respond. I am so sorry. I will go back. I have a feeling I know which video it was on uh, so I'll go back and I'll try and see where that comment is uh, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube I mean or, or that question is I apologize but if you're watching and you ask me what um, I used uh, trying to figure out which one it was Somehow, if I, I, think, I think it was a scrappy tags or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to check. Because I use this so often, I don't want to give the wrong information out. I know, uh, you know, you mentioned that yours seems to be of a different size. I can remember that much. Okay, so I'm just adding that there. Like that. And then I'm going to use some fabric glue. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no, the eyes, the eyes are just <clears throat> failing. I'm just going to add that over here like that. Something like that. And that's that page done and dusted. <coughs> sure. And it's not like I don't have water or anything before I come and sit down here. So it's not that in any way. But I have no idea. Okay, so let's put this here like that. Somewhere like that. There. And then that's that page done and dusted. So now, if we look at that, we're going to add it 
Yeah, oh, this goes in the middle. I supposed to actually put a thing on it, but I didn't. So there you go. Now, now look, that page has bulk on it and it's heavy and this page doesn't. All right, so that's fine. I think I'm just going to camera. I actually put some glue over there. So I'm just going to camouflage that glue with some. Yep, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah, there's some glue over here. I'm just going to add some of that thing. All right, so that's that thing. And then I think that looks pretty cute. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on this here. Let's bring some stuff here to you and this is an envelope that I uh, passed through the um, embossing machine and then what I did is I strengthened it so I did emboss it with a piece of paper as well but still this is quite weak so what I actually did is on this side I added some masking tape and then I uh, used walnut stain and I just used my brush and I just lightly um you know went over it but this paper i mean this envelope has been coffee dyed okay and i also strengthened the fold on that side as well okay and i'm going to strengthen as you will go uh, um, as i go along but uh, i needed to show that to you strengthened on both sides with very thin masking tape and that's going to go in there like that now i didn't see this before this is some masking tape that got stuck over here. Uh, oh, well, it is what it is. Let's put it that way. It is what it is and it's going to be there. Uh, because I'm afraid that if I do take it out, I'm going to pull out other stuff as well. So, yeah, it's actually coming out. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm in, in fact, I'm going to... Uh, See, I'm going to glue it down, in fact. And there, like that. Maybe we'll cover it up as we go along. Okay, so let's move this to one side because we finished with this. And uh, let's add it straight into our box of papers so that it doesn't get lost. Now what we're going to do over here is that we are going to turn this into a pocket on this side over here. And on that side we are going to do something else. So let's work with this. Let's put our paper like that now so that we know that's where that goes. And then we will sew it into the signature as we go on right. so let's decorate this and I'm going to add this here to it so maybe let's see what's happening on this side no it's fine so now what we're going to do here is we are going to just add some glue because our it's rather hard to write on that because it's embossed. So this way, all I'm doing is I took a scrap piece of paper that was lying around and I tore it um, with my fingers. And I'm just going to add it to this side over here like that. And I'm just making it now a journal space to write. And then you can see the embossing coming out. Oh, and I inked it with... Um, uh what's this thing you called walnut stain so i'm just going to take some thread like that and maybe some uh of that of some gauze and we'll see and we'll just add this here up the top this Make it look pretty. Like that. So I hope you are following along. And I know I go at it 
much slower pace than everybody else uh, or maybe a slower pace than you do and I apologize for that but um, I, I just work it into my schedule okay so so I do hope that <clears throat> I'll try my, I'm gonna try my best to to show you some stuff that I've already done uh, that you know doesn't require you to follow along with me because it's using the ephemera pieces in the kit and, and things like that and then <clears throat> I'm gonna add some blue here like that use this Press it down like that. Close that. And put that to one side. And then we're going to add this flower, which is part of my 3B on Sunny Creed Strong Journals. And you can see that I'm using it quite a bit. Here, like that. And then I wanted to add this one. Let me use this glue here. So I am really, really enjoying this kit. I'm really, I'm loving it actually. I never thought I was going to, but I am honestly and truly enjoying this um, decorating this kit. Uh, not kit oh my gosh uh this junk journal and i think once i'm done with it now that i've got so many i think i'm going to offer this up to for purchase to south african um south african uh viewers and or, or you know the South African market, I would say. Uh, and reason why is because right now I still have to explore the option of doing, um, you know, sending a junk journal overseas. I'm sure it must be quite expensive. So for South Africans, if you are interested in this, um, this coming along, uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, this journal and uh, let me know uh, and, and uh, I can then uh, advise you with more details so what I did here is I took a page from the kit and I am just going to add it on this side here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the I'll put glue on the four sides I'm not going to put glue over here okay the reason is that that is going to then stick onto this and I don't need it sticking onto that because I'm going to put a card in it, right? So that's what I'm going to do over there like that. But before I do that, I need to cut a sliver off the side here. And I think I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and hopefully I'm going to get through that. I really want a sliver. just opening it up here for a journal card to go in now I I didn't want to put it through my uh, what's this word didn't want to put it through the, the machine the, the cutting machine yep. and that's it just neaten this here Uh, yeah literally that much up okay and then i'm going to put this card in here like this remember only on the edges 
And this is also to provide it with stability, provide the cardboard with stability. I mean, the, not the cardboard, but envelope. You know, something you really speak nonsense sometimes. I just want to see. It's going to go like that. So I can put glue maybe up until here. I would say I'm safe putting glue right up until there. And the reason why, sorry if I was not in frame, is because, see, that's where that pocket, that envelope ends, right? So I think I can put glue up until there. So I've glued the sides. Just trying to see how much in this card can go. But I'm not putting it to the fold, right? I'm not putting it on the fold. So there's the fold there. I'm not putting it on the fold. And I glued it as much as possible to the fold because I want this journal card to fit in here. And it's just an ordinary piece of paper. Uh, not paper, it's a piece of cardboard, okay? Then I want to add it in there, like that. Okay, so it's going in. Yes, it's going in, but maybe I'll take out a sliver over here um, so that it doesn't feel too big. So, look, it does go in. Up until there, so. Yeah, I'm going to take out that part there. Yeah, because it's right. It's really, literally right to the end over there. So I think I'm going to just take out that part there. Uh, a little bit of that part. And maybe I'll just take it out on that side over there. I have no idea where I got that from. Uh, this year. But I know I coffee dyed it. At some stage or the other. So let's just take out some of it. I think if we do that much, mm, yeah, it would be fine. Mm, like that. So I'm leaving this very, very plain. I want to write on it or whoever gets it. If someone purchases it, then they can write on it as well. And you see the coffee stain. Okay, and then let's see now. If we add it in, is it going? Yes, perfect. Okay, I just want to add some glue to the edges here because they are coming apart. On that side, and let's see on this side. Yes, a bit on this side as well. And we are good. on this side no that's fine all right and all i'm going to do is i'm going to take this and this came with the kit and i'm going to add it to the top like that or maybe i should just add it dead center i don't know i like i like putting things sometimes in the center i like putting things on the side i don't know but all i know is i want this side to be here Okay, I'm going to do that. And let's see on this side. Yes. So here we are. Oh, that needs to go down. And that needs to go inside like that. Perfect. Perfect. And now I need to add some bulk to this as well. I need to strengthen this so <coughs> same page okay same page I'm just gonna add it to the inside of the flap now like that okay like that I traced around it and I left when I traced around it onto the page I left that as um, you know to, to, to be as flush as possible but I cut a little bit on this edge out here Okay, so that it will fold properly and it doesn't need to sit on the fold itself. So 
this is going to be interesting how do we line this up now with the with the folds over here and let me get it right i think it's that side here like that so i'm trying to get the folds right here i'm trying to line it up you know with this edge of the thing perfect perfect okay just maybe a little off here so all i did is i laid that down like that or actually like that now i laid it down like that and then i traced over it okay just watch which side your your, your print is lying that's the only tip i can give you just watch your print you know if you've got, got a print then just watch that it is on the right side okay so now that's that now what are we going to be doing here is uh, so we're going to put that back in the for now that's what we're going to be doing and then i take a cereal box now let me show you what i'm doing so you have some idea what's happening because it might just do this so remember this page we just decorated that one this is going to go here like that journal space journal space in the envelope like that and then on the flip side this is what we're going to have on this side this is going to be sewn into the spine okay as part of the signature this is what we have on this side here now and we are going to then take this here okay we're going to add it to the pro neutral card like that okay like that and i'm going to show you what we're going to do Oopsie. Add it there. And this here to match like that. Okay. So I basically use most of this page that I had over here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, sorry, sorry. Now I knew, now I remembered why I didn't ink it, ink it do. Let's try the quarter round. Cause I want to do round the edges. get this right all the time well I barely get it right turned it to the half inch you see I get the half inch almost right yeah half inch works for me <laughs> quarter inch not so much I just add some more glue here Just added more glue there just in case I was out of frame. Okay, so there we go. Now let's ink it. Ink it, ink, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it, ink it. Now on that side, look, it's plain. And I don't mind. I don't mind it at all because that's the joy of using your uh stuff so that's going to go there like that okay and then what we're going to add over here to close it up is one of this here like that and then we're just going to decorate this over here on this side like that okay 
but let's add that little flap over here not the flap this here <clears throat> so I always try to do this put this one on this one here so I have an idea where it's going to stick let's just close that and then I pull it out okay and then now I'm going to do this Something, uh, something, something. Right, so it's quite a tight fit, but I need it for it to be a tight fit simply because. needed this to be quite tight in there so I think it is I think it is quite tight and I'm just wondering what's holding me back here something oh okay so I just want to see now on the journal when it goes in yeah I think it will work fine I don't know what's holding it here. Let's see. Yeah. And that's that side. And just checking on this side now. Yes, I think I like that. And then the last thing I want to do now is decorate this here oh, with something that I have here maybe I should add that because then it will match on that side should I add a big one or should I add a small one let's see um, <laughs> I think a big one yes think that thing like that to be that to the side and what about this no this is me being indecisive find something that works with that now these small ones if you wondering they come from a pull box I actually cut these out of pull boxes right let's see if that works yep I'm gonna use that so these ones here are from pull boxes they cut from pull boxes this one here is from cardboard but the whitish ones which i then will um uh what's the word i'm looking for i will then what color them and put some embossing ink um, an embossing part on them so they come from a pull box gonna add this here like that there and then this here just need to add some more glue there so maybe I must do that quickly
I really need to add more glue here as well. I said that the last time and then I looked at it and it was like halfway false. I was like, no, I'm not going to add glue. And then let's take this little one. But before we take this little one, let's make it pretty. Let's make it pretty. some of this to hold it down like that like that and then a piece of material I wonder if I even need it no I'm not because you know this year we don't want to add too much of bulk to when we sew it in so I think I'm gonna not use it okay I'm going to call that done call that done okay so what did we do today on this yeah let's see what we did after I just sort this glue out here okay so very quickly trying to neaten this place up so you can see what we did we went in on this page here and we added this little embellishment over here and the reason why is because there's already bulk on this side so I didn't want to add more bulk and there's bulk over here as well so we stenciled with walnut stain and we added this here and then we introduced an envelope here okay where we're keeping this on the side we turn we, we we embossed it here oh look we must repair that yeah gonna have to repair that there okay probably add a b there or something because I think as this went through, this card went through, it caught on that. Okay, yeah, I can feel it catching now. Don't know when it caught, but we'll have to, yeah, see? I can see it through these. So we're going to have to repair that over here by probably adding a B thing. But we'll think about it. Or oh, we can add some washi tape there even. Okay, but I'm going to see because I need to just glue around this so that the car doesn't stick in there All right so i'm gonna have to glue that down but anyway we added a uh we added a um, little place to journal with some uh, embellishments here it's just to strengthen it but here's our journal card on this side here okay and then on the other side of the flip we introduced a pocket out of recycled material we just uh, added some pretty uh, embellishments there and it's we've uh, used a uh, what's this word mm, I can't get the name of this hmm, I can't get the name glue oh uh, no uh, velcro dot velcro dot and we just used it as a tuck here to hold our journaling card in place here and that was it i just wanted to add a little um little dot there maybe in black because it, it does look a little plain maybe just a dot there in black and our glue Oops. Take that. How cute. How very cute. Sorry, I'm just taking out some of the the glue there. 
<laughs> I love it. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and repair this here because it's really, really bugging me now. I'll have to think about it because I need to make it symmetrical. I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to add over there. And then um, you will see the still shot of it, what I actually did there in order to repair it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Or maybe I must just add another piece of paper there just to... Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out let's put it that way it's such a pretty piece i really don't want to mess it up okay take care everybody um i hope you enjoyed this and um i hope you are having fun creating and remember that um you can always join my facebook group which is uh sunny create strong journals and uh, you'll find some of the freebies over there. The kit is still available on Etsy uh, if you want the kit. And if you don't have a kit that you, you know, are, are working on and you want to use this kit, it's available for you on Etsy. And uh, remember that uh, I'm trying to see now what I can put there. Okay, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> so remember that you can get this kit on Etsy and if you haven't subscribed as yet, please do consider subscribing and um, giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care from me. It's Sunny Creates. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day. Lots of love.